humanitarian coordinator Denise Brown visited Danube port of Ismail, where she noted thousands of tons of damaged grains in the attack would have been enough to feed approximately 66 million people for a day. The Secretary General also condemned Russia's intensification of attacks on Ukrainian ports, calling for the immediate cessation of all attacks against civilians and civilian infrastructure in Ukraine. Jennifer Macau with more on the same. UN spokesperson Farhan Haq told reporters in New York that this attack is not isolated and with Russia's decision to terminate the Black Sea Initiative already impacting global food prices, this will continue to affect the most vulnerable people. Across the country, the Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs continues to sound the alarm about the plight of civilians already facing a dire situation as the intensification of attacks affecting civilian, critical civilian infrastructure in the country will likely worsen the humanitarian needs. According to Huck, across the country, the Office for Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs continues to sound the alarm about the plight of civilians already facing a dire situation. As you will recall, the Secretary General also condemned Russia's intensification of attacks on Ukrainian ports, calling for the immediate cessation of all attacks against civilians and civilian infrastructure in Ukraine. The spokesperson concluded as the intensification of attacks affecting critical civilian infrastructure in the country will likely worsen the humanitarian need if not properly arrested early enough. Since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, Ukrainian exports of grain have been severely disrupted. For over four months, Russian military vessels blocked Ukrainian ports in the Black Sea. On 22nd July 2022, an agreement was brokered by the United Nations and Turkey to open a safe maritime humanitarian corridor in the Black Sea. As of July 2023, almost 33 million tons of grains and other foodstuffs had been exported via the Black Sea Green Initiative. Jennifer Macau, GBS News.